All right, I'm live. What's going on, everybody? Got two cameras going, two cameras rolling right here, and having a, um, a great Monday. Hope you guys are too. Hope it was a blessed weekend. You know me, get right to the point. Yes, I am a sports agent. Last Friday, uh, we got our, I got my license to be a sport agent in this great state of Florida. And why? You know, someone said, why are you a sports agent? Or how did that happen, right? Well, that happened because I already have been for years and years, decades, if we're really speaking, um, and I don't mean just one, been negotiating deals. And as a childhood goal, I wrote the vision down, I made it plain. I wanted to, my, my whole point of going to law school was to become a sports agent, represent entertainers, athletes, you know, and I always knew, like Jim Brown, it would only get bigger and bigger with athletes becoming entertainers. We look at The Rock, and then I would also write books like John Grisham with, you know, the JD or the doctor, you know, in front. So they have to call you a doctor, right? Maybe it sells more books. Probably not, <laughs> because I know plenty of people who have those things and don't have um, the audience just because of that. People have an audience because they put in the work. So with, you know, folks like Rich Paul and so many others, but Rich Paul is the one that really, when I started to read about what he was doing without even, I believe, a college degree and how they try to, you know, box him out using back basketball, you know, terminology, um, it really inspired me. So I said, okay, this, this really is possible. You don't have to get the JD. Because many people only get the JD so they can do one job, and maybe you get a client, maybe you don't. I wanted to, I got really excited to become a sports agent once the NIL laws changed. What are those? Those are the laws that allow college athletes now to make money on their name, image, and likeness. You might have read that Master P, one of his sons who's going to TSU, has already a $2 million endorsement with a tech company. Before, he could not do that. I have family members who are going to college to play ball. They have to, you know, basically when you're an athlete, it's you have to follow these tight rules. And there have been athletes who have been kicked off of football teams and other teams because they monetize their YouTube, which could be against the law. So I wanted to jump in the game once I heard the laws change and I'm in the game. Filled out my paperwork. Let me just tell you guys something. And I may do more video like this to talk about how to become, right? Because that could be good clickbait. But I'm going to give you a tidbit if you watch and you're studying what I say. You take a pen and a pad and say, I want to apply that. In the state of Florida, it was the best way to do it. I mean, I really love this state for various reasons because I believe people should have choice. People should be able to choose to live and to die, right? Uh, and whether they want to vaccinate or put a mask, you should have a choice in that. And I just like that. I, I get it. Now, for me, I prefer I'm going to vaccinate and I even will put the mask on because I, I just knew round two was coming. But it was so easy to do. And so you don't have to watch another video. I filled out the application. I paid the money. I did my fingerprints. You know, you do your live scan. Boom. And it doesn't take, you know, uh, but it was three days. Shout out for the state for doing that. And I'm not saying, hey, do it because it's easy. No, do it because you have a passion. And my passion, again, is the college students especially. So I'm going to be looking at college athletes and those coming out um, of high school and, you know, making sure we stay within the law of talking to them about what do they want to do with their career. Because the majority of people aren't going to make it pro, even that are playing in collegiate sports right now. But think about if someone doesn't go pro, but they do get that $2 million, you know, paycheck, like Master P's son. We know he, he's in a different situation. But what if somebody, while going to school, even gets a $5,000, you know, contract? 
and that helps them pay for a semester of school. And I thank everybody, Vivian and Vitaly, for who are watching right now, waving at you too. But now, even in gymnastics, even in golf, whatever the sport may be, we want to represent those young athletes and, and get them a fair deal. Anybody who has done business with me are the few people like Vitaly who we've actually uh, been roommates together while working on a project. Vitaly helped me get a position in the oil field that, you know, really just, that was another goal of mine while in Texas that I didn't know how it was gonna come. So I said goals, but the goal for these college students is for them not to be broke. Not to be broke, thank you brother. Thank you for that comment. Thank you for those, those uh, words. Um, I want to know, oh, where am I? I I'm at home, I, I'm in the backyard. I'm at home in South Florida, the best place to be. And so that's where I'm at. But what I wanna do for these college athletes is make sure they don't get ripped off, make sure they don't waste their money. If you think about it, even in YouTube space, and those of you who know, we manage and consult with influencers to show them how they can start to earn money now. You don't have to have the biggest audience, but while you're in college and you're a student athlete, and if you know you're not gonna go pro, this might be your last hurrah of having to have the cheat code, being able to use that popularity that you have and all those games you're gonna go to, and even if you go to a real good school, those private flights, or maybe those first class flights, or maybe you've never taken a flight before and now you're able to go to Alaska or wherever. You know, come on over to CPRfirm.com. And I have someone telling me, this is Vitaly right here, saying he's tired of West Texas. I would definitely say South Florida, but all of Florida is waiting for you, my bruh. Waiting for you to come, everybody is here. And so it's just a great mixing pot. You can be who you wanna be and do what you wanna do. Mask or no mask, vaccine or no vaccine. And again, folks, I took the vaccine. I wear a mask. But if you have, you know, if you wanna have the option not to, because some people even wanna have the option to die. You know, I remember Dr. Kevorkian, AKA Dr. Death. While I was an athlete, I used to have the arm pads when I was um, new to football. And I used to have the arm pads and I would be on the line, because that's where you start when you're young and, you know, in football and not the most coordinated. And I had Dr. Death. My pops wrote Dr. Death on my thing, you know. So this is where I'm at with being a sports agent. We want to help. Yes, we are going to make some money. The type of agents that we are is very similar to the type of consultant I am. We work together. One person isn't better than anybody else. We work as a team to make the dream and really the goals come true. Oh yeah, brother from another mother. I got you, brother. So if you have a friend, a family member, or you, and you say, you know what? I am going into collegiate sports. I don't even know if I could get paid. We at least want to have the conversation with you to see where you're at because think about this. Maybe you're not even the best on the team. Maybe, but you're still a starter, right? Or you think you can be a starter by your sophomore or junior year. You know, many athletes aren't where they're at when they first come in. Maybe you're doing karate. And you say, I think I, I can maximize some endorsement deals. Let's make money with your name, image, and likeness. And let's see where you're at. Let's see what's gonna happen. We're not going to be your typical firm that just represents you and, you know, treats you just like talent. No, I got to teach you. I got to have you read these books. My goal always is to read at least a book a week. I'm going to be sending out books until you at least tell me stop or say, hey, I'm not reading those. And then I'm going to wait for you to come because it's not to be pushy as an agent. And I'm excited to be an agent because one, this is a childhood dream, two, it's the purpose. And I truly believe it was on my mind as a kid, not because of a Jerry Maguire movie, but I did like that movie. Um, and Vitaly says, uh, become a preacher. 
I believe I already am preaching and I can, you know, legally marry people. But the difference, you know, if I have a church, let this be the start of the church and it's going to be a different type of church. And you have to understand, I'm going to talk different. And I just got to tell you the truth, whether, you know, it might prick you sometimes. But that's what the truth from people who really love you, that's what it does. And I think in this country, a lot of times people just want to hear what they want to hear. The type of agents we're not going to be, we are not going to be yes men. Nope, not going to do it. Not going to be yes men. I'm not Because to be a yes man, I've already had clients who have wanted to harm themselves. And I can't represent you if you want to harm yourself. I, I, I can't do it. I, I can't do it because I, we could get $10 million today. And I really mean you get a $10 million contract, but if you, I think you're going to kill yourself, I don't want to represent you. I'd rather you be broke and alive and be able to work on your problems than be rich. You know, it, it doesn't make sense just to have all the money. It doesn't make sense that you have the money, but your kids hate you. There's so many movies, so many books. Read a John Grisham book. Guy dies and his kids inherit the money and the kids hate each other. No, 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 no. So we're gonna be, it's a caring agency and it's going to be to better you, whether you go pro or not. And in hopes of if you are that great to go pro, that we go and continue this relationship because we carry some of the same values, loyalty being one of them, honesty, all of those values that your grandmother told you about. Because I don't care what religion you are or you aren't, you know, you were probably told right from wrong. And if you weren't, then let us be that uncle figure, maybe that daddy figure, because I'm getting up there. You know, <laughs> people say, man, you're old enough to be my daddy. And I tell people, no, I'm not, because I didn't start having children that young. But <laughs> that's, that's me. We want to represent your friends, your family, you, and we, it starts with the conversation. A lot of it is going to start on my diversified game show so I can get to know you and talk about you and let the people know who you are because if you're going to be out there in the public, I want you to see how you do on camera too and think, wait, well, maybe I do need to go to that free Toastmasters class and maybe I do need to, you know, maybe brush up on some skills or my microphone. So that's where it's going to start. So if you have someone who is looking for a sports agent, let me know. And yes, we're still going to be doing the same consulting, business management, uh, social media management that we've always been doing. But the sports agent piece with the new laws is exciting to me. And I hope that even if you're not an athlete or don't know an athlete, you pass this around to the next one that you think needs some help. Because we've had people ripping off athletes over and over just because they didn't know the game. I gotta give the people the game. That's my life's purpose. So I'm excited. My family says I can't stop you know, with the sports agent analogies and everything else. They're dinging me actually every time I say it. So you guys, tune in. There's going to be more to come. Let me know how I can help you. That sport does not matter. Whether it's, you know, football or football Americana, it's all good. Lacrosse, we want to talk with the athletes. So share this, if nothing else, and I appreciate you for it. Appreciate you for taking the time out. And I want to answer your question. So no matter where you see this, I want you to write questions. Write them down. Let me know how I can help you. Be blessed.